Today we're working with lesson seven, Mrs. Grape Jelly's Apples. That's a funny title, isn't it? Mrs. Grape Jelly. Okay, so let's start by doing a little bit of review. Let's go over the verses that we have learned. So in lesson one and two, about the story about to make a habit. What was the verse for that lesson, or those two lessons? To make a habit. Let's say it together. And he said, go again seven times. First Kings 18, 43. I'll say it again. And he said, go again seven times. First Kings 18, 43. And lesson three and four. I might as well start out. What was that verse? Let's say it together. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 1 John 5, 14. Say it again. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 1 John 5, 14. And in lesson 5 and 6, about one Saturday morning. What was that verse? Be content with such things as ye have. Hebrews 13, 5. Say it with me. Be content with such things as ye have. Hebrews 13, 5. Okay. Now we're going to do a few analogies. If I can find my lesson again. Yeah, analogies. Okay, food is to water as, sorry, food is to eat as water is to what? So food and eat as water is to what? So you eat food and what do you do with water? You drink water, right? So eat is to food. Sorry, food is to eat as water is to drink. Rooster is to crow as duck is to what? Quack, right? Rooster, crow, duck, quack. Animals is to barn as people is to house, right? Animals live in a barn, people live in a house. So it's just words that go together. Okay, let's look at our study words. Number one, anyway. Number two, apple. Number three, course. Number four, even. Number five, sounds. Number six, suppose. Number seven, sweetest. Number eight, tiny. Number nine, woodshed. Number 10, wouldn't. Read that list yourself two times and say it to your mom and have her sign the little box. Part A says, write study words to finish the sentence. So you use a study word in each of these blanks and do that part carefully. Be sure you um, spell the study word correctly. Just look up in the box above to get your spelling. Part B, scan the story pages for the clue word. Write the two words that come after the clue word in the story. So number six says page 186, clue word, polish. So you turn to page 186 in your reader and you're gonna scan through the story, or scan through that page on page 186 for the word polish. When you find the word polish, write the next two words. So write the two words that come right after polish. So each of these blanks will have two words on them. So you find the word polish, and then you write the next two words. Don't write the word, don't write the clue word. Only write the next two words. And the next one is on page 189, clue word, nice. So you find the word nice, and then the two words that come right after nice. Our next Bible verse. Let's say this verse together. I'll say it to you first, and then we'll say it together. Thou shalt not covet anything that is thy neighbor's. Exodus 20, 17. Say that with me. Thou shalt not covet anything that is thy neighbor's. Exodus 20, 17. Thou shalt not covet anything that is thy neighbor's. Exodus 20, 17. Covet means to want something that belongs to another person. When you covet, it shows that you are not content with what you have. 
If we continue coveting, it can lead us to do wrong things. In this story, Billy Bob thought of stealing apples because he wanted one so badly. So coveting is just really wanting something that is somebody else's. Part C says, underline three good thoughts that show you are not coveting anything that is your neighbor's. So you read them through here, and there's three things that is not coveting. It shows that you're not coveting. You underline those three things using your ruler. So this is all about your verse. Practice your verse and say it to your mom. Memorize it and have her sign that little triangle to show that you said it and memorized it. Part D says, color the apple that show, color the apple that says what the Bible verse means. What does this Bible verse mean? You should not go to visit your neighbor or do not wish for things that belongs to others. What does that verse mean? Read Mrs. Grape Jelly's Apples. Mrs. Grape Jelly is one of the characters in the story. You will find out her real name as you read. So Mrs. Grape Jelly was not really her real name. It's just what they call her. So you see if you can figure out why they call her Mrs. Grape Jelly and what her real name actually was. Okay, part E. If the sentence tells how pens and pencils are alike, circle yes. If it tells them they are different, circle no. Now, you might think pens and pencils are the same thing. There is a difference. So, when you're doing your work, what do you use? You use a pencil, right? A pencil is lead. It's something that you can erase. A pen is like an ink pen, okay? You cannot erase what you write with an ink pen. That's why you don't do your work with an ink pen, okay? You use a pencil, which is lead, so you can erase it if you make mistakes. Okay, you can write with them. Can you write with it? Can you write with a pen and a pencil? Is it easy to erase what you wrote? Sorry, it is easy to erase what you wrote. And you can put them in your pocket. So you circle thing, circle yes if it's alike, circle no if it's not alike. Part F, think how the first two words go together. Write a word that goes with the bold word in the same way. Puppy is to dog as kitten is to what? Do your lesson carefully, check over your work, be sure you spelled your words correctly, use your ruler to underline, and follow all the directions. Check over your work, do it carefully, and I'll see you in math class.